Shipmates, sexual assault is a criminal offense incompatible with Department of Navy Corps values, Navy ethos, and high standards of professionalism and personal discipline expected of all service members. While the Navy has made great progress in adopting a more proactive and comprehensive approach, we need to continue to change our culture and our attitudes surrounding this issue. Sexual assault doesn't recognize whether you're a midshipman, an officer candidate, the newest of enlisted recruits, or a civilian. It can strike anywhere and anyone just like any other crime, and it is a crime. I'm sure many of you have been watching the news, so you've noticed that the problem of sexual assault in the military has reached all echelons of our organization. The president has commented on the challenges we face in combating sexual assault. As a result of those challenges, the Secretary of Defense has directed a mandatory Department of Defense-wide stand-down to be completed no later than July 1st. The intent is purposeful, with direct commander and leader engagements with their service members and civilian employees on SAPR principles and the climate of dignity and respect necessary in every workplace across the Department of Defense. There can be no greater imperative than to ensure the integrity of professionalism, respect, and trust within our Navy. In order to send a single message to everyone in the fleet on the importance of this initiative, the Secretary of the Navy, the Chief of Naval Operations, and the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy join forces to create videos regarding their personal expectations of Navy leaders at all levels of leadership, from seaman to admiral, about their commitment to the health, the welfare, and the trust of fellow sailors. The training is designed with straight talk about preventing sexual assault. We will address where the Navy was, where it is now, and where it must go, and the kind of legacy we want to leave in our nation's history. I'd like to emphasize how INSTIC is going to attack the challenge on a local basis. INSTIC will establish and enforce a climate of zero tolerance for sexual assault. We will go on the offensive and re-educate and retrain. To be specific, we will recertify that all trainers of recruits, midshipmen, and officer candidates who will sign a page 13 acknowledging comprehension of the sexual assault policy. Everyone in instinct must clearly understand the consequences for violating another person, the Uniform Code of Military Justice, and the law. I expect all instinct spaces to be inspected for unprofessional items. Our command climate must be such that no sexual innuendos, jokes, or comments are tolerated. We must all understand our duty to report and to intervene. I not only expect, but I demand strong leadership engagement. Sexual assault prevention must be made a priority. You now know what to expect at the local level. I know you're already engaged, but I want you to clearly understand my intent and personal commitment to end sexual assault in our ranks. Our team is going full speed ahead to change our culture and put a stop to this crime. This training will provide you with the proper bearings as we move forward together to defeat sexual assault. But it is what we accomplish after the training that will help us win the battle. You will hear the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment more than once in our training. These core values should not be taken lightly. Pay attention, give it some serious thought, and join in conversations about the hard-to-talk-about subjects. I want each of you commanding officers in the instinct domain to discuss what it means to be a leader, what your oath means, how to exhibit honor, and the importance of demonstrating moral courage. I ask that you fully participate in the training. We own this problem, and together we'll solve it.